Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the presentation of colors and the national anthem. Gentlemen, please remove your caps.
Good morning. Please be seated. I'm Clint Gabbard, president of McHenry County College. A warm, even though it's a little chilly, welcome to all our guests, families, and friends in attendance for the McHenry County College Spring 2018 Commencement Ceremony. And graduates, welcome to your 2018 MCC Commencement. What's today for you? The end of what feels like a long, arduous journey, the beginning of several more years of college life, the pinnacle that none of your family ever believed that you would achieve, <laughs> the something that you just started out doing while you figured out the next thing that you were going to do, the second choice that ends up seeming like the best decision you ever made, the place you can't wait to leave, the place where you met the first teacher ever who seemed to believe in you, that person that you are now forever linked to, grateful to, and frightened to leave, the place you someday will say, quote, started it all, end quote. I don't know in what state of mind you arrived here, in what frame of mind or place in life, but I'm going to dare say that none of you are leaving without having been challenged. And I bet you can recall at least one and probably several people who made a difference in what you think or how you feel about yourself. And it might have been the checkout person in the cafe or the secretary who kept her candy jar full or the instructor who pushed you harder than you've ever been pushed. But somebody made a difference. And I'm also not going to go out on a limb to predict that you're better off for having been here. Something here has left its mark on you. And the truth is, I believe we're better off for having served you, especially if we've learned something about how to treat the next people who are going to come and take your place here at the college. But all that's about what's has, what, what has been. Today, you're absolutely standing squarely astride one of those pivotal lines that separate what has been and what will be. One foot reflecting that the hard work did pay off and the other foot straddled and stretched to that next question, what's next? I probably can't help myself this morning and while some of you come through and shake my hands, I will probably ask you, what's next? And you have every right to say to me, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just celebrating this moment, and fair enough. But the thing is, we invested in you so that you can now go make our world better. So we kind of need you to eventually grab a match and start lighting some fires. We need you to fix our cars and heal our bodies and help our parents recover from strokes, build things, fix things, create things, write things, and think. Oh my, we need you to be thoughtful. We need you to reject the misguided nonsense that suggests that knowledge should be feared or discounted. Knowledge like fire moved our distant past ancestors forward. Knowledge seasoned with good sense will help us figure out things like how to keep our communities from ever deteriorating to the point where our water isn't safe to drink. Or it will help entire states in dire economic straits recover and thrive again. And goodness knows we need you to work. And we need you to build a professional life and to build a life story where your work is infused with heart and soul and integrity. And ambitiously, as a stretch goal, we need you to build a world where everybody is valued and treated like we would like to be treated ourselves. So enjoy this moment as you remind yourself of all the grit it took for you to be sitting here and don't be thrown off by the anxiousness of what's next. You can do it. We encourage and challenge you because we already knew you could do it. You're ready for what's next. Okay? Fair enough? Okay. Then let's do this. At this time I'd like to introduce some individuals who've been entrusted to award your degrees today. 
the MCC Board of Trustees. Joining us this morning include Chair Linda Liddell, Trust Trustee Tom Allen, <laughs> Trustee Mike Smith, <laughs> Trustee Molly Walsh, and student trustee and your fellow graduate, Zuri Vasquez. <laughs> We're also joined on stage by Dr. Chris Gray, MCC's Vice President of Academic and Student Affairs. <laughs> Graduates, so many people at MCC have contributed towards your accomplishments, and I want to join with you and take a moment in thanking the entire MCC faculty, administration, and staff for their inspiration and service to you. All of us are going to be here when you come back and you're going to tell us about your first year on the job or your first semester at NIU or U of I or ISU. We want to see pictures of your kids. We want to give you a reference and we still want to give you some advice from time to time. So no, we will be here for you no matter what comes next. At this time, it's my pleasure to introduce one of MCC's own alumni. Mary Beth Siddons was honored as an MCC Distinguished Alumna in 2013 and graduated from MCC in 1983. Mary Beth is a graduate of McHenry County College, the Northern Illinois University, Keller Graduate School of Management, with postgraduate studies at Kellogg Graduate School at Northwestern. Her extensive list of accomplishments range from currently serving as sector president for the Marmon Group, to previous senior leadership responsibility for strategic direction and innovation at both ITW and Snap-on. She also gives back to our community in numerous ways, serving on boards and making impact with organizations including the likes of the Make-A-Wish Foundation in Illinois. I can't think of a more fitting visual individual to share her passion and wisdom about MCC than Mary Beth. She's continued to be that alumnus that we want every one of you to be, giving back to her community as she builds a distinguished professional career through her, her efforts. So please help me welcome MCC Distinguished Alum, Mary Beth Siddons. Thank you, Dr. Gabbard. Good morning and congratulations on this important milestone event. Graduation from McHenry County College. Well done. <laughs> As I contemplated my message to you today, I thought, what could I say to a group of people who are about to enter the next chapter in their lives? People who are young graduates who entered college right from high school, those who served their country and made the decision to invest in education, people who decided to go back to college, change careers, or just start again. There are many stories in this auditorium today, and all are unique and important. 35 years ago, I graduated from this fine institution. My days here served as a basis for what I have been able to go on and do graduate from Northern Illinois University, Keller Graduate School of Management, postgraduate studies at Kellogg School of Management at Northwestern University, and in September, I am planning on starting my doctoral program. Ah, huh? My experience here helped to build the confidence in me and to open my eyes to be able to see what was possible if I was willing to work for it. And I'm sure you would agree that anything that's worth it is in fact worth working for. In my professional life, I've had the pleasure to serve local companies like Snap-on, as president of Diagnostics and Business Solutions, Illinois Tool Works as president of Global Retail, and now as Dr. Gabbert said, as sector president of a nearly $1 billion group of companies, for the Marmon Group, which is a Berkshire Hathaway company. 
and it all started right here. So my first message, never, never, never give up. A famous Winston Churchill quote, but one my dad also said to me repeatedly. Push on, try harder, go over, go under, just don't give up. For sure, there were many times it would have been easier just to give up, and, and that's just what it would have been, easier. Having lived in McHenry County for over 40 years, and I still do, graduating from Crystal Lake South in 1981, I know I don't look that old, <laughs> I've been able to stay connected to the community, and that is so important. Having MCC in Crystal Lake is an excellent way to stay connected. Get and stay involved in your community. Through the years, and yes, even with a demanding professional life, I have had the privilege to be a part of public awareness to deliver shelter, Make-A-Wish Foundation where I am serving my sixth and final year as a board member, Education to Empowerment, a McHenry County commitment, McHenry County College commitment to the advancement of women in our community, St. Jude Hospital, United Way, and various stewardship and outreach activities and events with my church, All Saints Lutheran. My second message, do something in your community to make a difference. Find something that you are passionate about and make it a part of who you are. What is your legacy going to be? What would your billboard say? Be committed to helping to make our world a better place by giving back and being kind. Right here at your soon-to-be alma mater, there are so many ways to make the difference in the lives of the students that will be coming after you. Be a change agent for good. Be a part of hope. Hope for a brighter tomorrow and future. So fellow McHenry County College graduates, commit to never giving up, no matter how hard it gets. Commit to making a difference, no matter how small. Remember what's important, your family, your friends, your faith, and this wonderful country in which we live. God bless, may you have an awesome future. Congratulations, and thank you. Good morning, my name is Zuri Vasquez. As a student trustee for MCC, I just wanna take a minute to share my appreciation to the Board of Trustees, administration, and faculty. I've had the honor to work closely with all of them and could not have succeeded in this role or as a student without them. Thank you for your support and help these past two years and hopefully the future. I now have the great pleasure of introducing this year's commencement speaker, Amber Steiger. I believe that Amber is an outstanding representative of what it means to achieve success at MCC. Since Amber has been a student at MCC, she has maintained a 4.0 GPA. After graduation, she will for further pursue an advanced degree in English, much of which is due to being inspired by highly supportive faculty and staff here at MCC. Amber has provided amazing service to the Student Peace Action Network and has volunteered often for a variety of outreach events. Her involvement in the Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society and being a recipient of the Education to Empowerment Scholarship have helped Amber continue to grow while at MCC. Please join me in giving a warm welcome to McHenry County College's Spring 2018 Commencement Speaker, Amber Steiger. Fellow graduates, faculty, staff, board members, family, and friends, welcome as we are here to celebrate this incredible occasion. When I first started at MCC, I was unsure of a lot of things. I didn't know who I wanted to be, what I wanted to do, or what I was capable of accomplishing. And over these past few weeks, as I started to think about graduation in this moment, it seemed nearly impossible to sum up all of the things I wanted to say about how much my time here has meant to me. And I found myself already starting to miss MCC and I hadn't even left yet. 
When I first began my college career, I assumed that this would be just another school. But what I didn't realize was that this place and the people in it would change me as a person and challenge me to pursue the best version of myself. Here, I have learned how to believe in my capabilities as a student and push myself to become more inclusive, compassionate, and committed to pursuing peace, justice, and what is right. Over these past few years, the most powerful thing I have learned is that we all have a voice in this world. And though I've spent most of my life being afraid to even stand up in a room full of people and speak, I now will never stop shouting out and standing up for what I believe in. Even in the moments where my voice is shaking, even when I'm not sure that the words will come out right. I've always believed in the power of education and in its ability to open doors and minds. And what's really great about higher education is that it provides a platform not only to learn how to be successful in the classroom, but also for us to become more informed about the world around us and the people inside of it. And this is including myself. Soren Neil Hurston would tell us that the oldest human longing is that of self-revelation. This idea that the thing we all want most in this world is for people to see us for who we truly are. The good, the bad, the flaws, the imperfections, and that in seeing that, they would still choose to say yes to loving and accepting us. Here at MCC, I have learned how to let people see the real me. And I didn't know when I first started here that I would meet people who would push me academically while also encouraging me every step of the way to keep moving, to keep striving, and to keep pushing to be the best that I could be. And it is because of this that I have learned to more fully love and accept myself. But before I knew any of that was possible, I had to overcome the obstacles that stood in the way of me being able to pursue an education. When I was first beginning college, my biggest concern was how I was going to pay for it and provide for myself financially along the way through everything that I would need. But what's truly remarkable is that I am leaving this place not only with an incredible education under my belt, I am also walking away completely debt free. And that is because of the incredible people here who are so committed to helping students pursue their educational goals. Without them, I would not be where I am now, nor would I have been able to pursue a college degree. And for those people, I am grateful beyond words. I am so thankful for my time here because it has allowed me to chase after opportunities I would not have had otherwise. Here, I was encouraged to take honors courses, to be involved in learning communities, to join Phi Theta Kappa, to become a member of and assume a position of leadership in a student organization, to perform undergraduate independent research and formally present it, and to form connections with professors who have encouraged me every step of the way. Here, I was never just another number. Rather, I was someone people were willing to invest in and wanted to hear from. And it is because of this that I stand before you all now with an expanded worldview, a greater capacity to love, and no longer ashamed to be the most authentic version of myself. And if I hadn't said yes to this place and those connections I made while I was here, I would not be who I am today, nor would I have thought it possible to accomplish the things that I have done while I have been here. And though I am so sad to be leaving this place, I know that I have been well prepared to go out and to have success in my future education and in my career. And I am so proud to be going to the University of Illinois at Chicago this fall to study English because I've decided that I love higher education so much that I never want to leave it and I'm going to teach English at the college level. Because I truly believe in the power of language and words and the way that learning happens in a place like this. And I also just want to take this time to thank my family who are here today. Thank you for being my rock, my strength, and my support. Thank you for supporting me through every panic, anxiety-induced moment. Thank you for supporting me when I've said yes to too many things at once. And I also just want to take this time to wish my brother a happy birthday. <laughs> Thank you, Billy, for sharing a day that's supposed to be all about you with me. I know that I am leaving MCC in good hands. I also just want to take this time to thank Kate Midday. Kate, thank you for reminding me how much I love to learn. Thank you for never letting me accept anything less than the best. Thank you for continuously pushing me 
and motivating me. Thank you for every moment that I came into your office and told you I was just staying for five minutes and then ended up staying for several hours. Thank you for constantly reminding me to keep going, to keep moving, and to always question. And thank you for teaching me how to find my place in the orchard and also reminding me how to be my own orchard. And now, fellow graduates, as you all go on to this, the next phase of your life, let me encourage you. Try new things, even the ones that seem daunting and scary. Open yourself up to opportunities and people who are willing to invest in you. Pursue your passions, believe in yourself, see the value in our diverse world. Make an effort to be inclusive and meet the needs of those around you. Never listen when someone says you aren't capable of doing something. And most importantly, constantly strive to respect, honor, and love everyone always. As Emma Donahue once said, this is the story you asked for. I leave it in your mouth. Thank you. Good morning. I'm Dr. Chris Gray, the Vice President of Academic and Student Affairs here at MCC. It's my honor to present Amber with a special plaque. Her name has also been to added to a plaque hanging in the MCC Student Services area. Thank you, Amber, for sharing your story. And I couldn't help but reminisce. I, I stood uh, out there where you were years ago, and her story was very similar to mine. And I have spent my entire life in higher education, but I am not debt free. So, <laughs> congratulations to those of you who are there. Um, we wish you the best success on your journey, and we thank you for sharing your story with us. At this time, I would like to highlight the various student honors and designations. Those wearing gold or white cords are students who are completing two-year degrees with honors. The white cord is worn by students who have achieved a grade point average of 3.50 to 3.74. Students wearing the gold honor cord have achieved a grade point average of 3.75 or higher. Will the students with honors or high honors please rise? Phi Theta Kappa members wear the gold honor stoles displaying its Greek letters. These are two-year degree recipients who have maintained a 3.5 or higher grade point average and have been active members of MCC's Chi Upsilon chapter. Will the Phi Theta Kappa graduates please stand? It's a great showing, Nerd Nation. <laughs> Psi Beta is the National Honor Society for students at two-year college with an interest in psychology, a grade point average of 3.4, and who demonstrate excellence in scholarship, leadership, research, and community service. Psi Beta members wear a gold stole with its Greek letters. Will the Psi Beta graduates please stand? The National Technical Honor Society has been honoring career and technical education students for over 30 years. Students graduating have achieved a, this honor have achieved a 3.0 or higher grade point average and maintain the highest standard of personal and professional conduct. NTHS members will wear a white stole. Will these graduates please stand? Those students have served in the military, as indicated by a red, white, and blue cord, are being recognized for their service to our country and to our community. American cord recipients, please stand.
Finally, the Silver Cord Award is given to students who complete at least 100 hours of community service, com of community service or volunteerism while attending MCC. Silver Cord Award recipients, please stand. Will all candidates for degrees and certificates please rise? <laughs> President Gabbard and Board of Trustees, on behalf of the McHenry County College faculty, staff, and administration, I present to you the spring class of 2018. On behalf of McHenry County College and by the power vested in me by the state of Illinois, through the Board of Trustees, I hereby confer upon the members of the graduating class of 2018 the individual degrees and certificates for which they have been recommended and duly certified. Please be seated. Will the first row rise? <laughs> Sorry. Following students will receive an Associates in Applied Science, Automotive Technology, Joshua Coles. Josh Ocampo, Associate in Applied Science, Baking and Pastry Management, Cassandra Nelson. Kate Burr. Associate in Applied Science, Business Management, April Block. Associate in Applied Science, Business Management, Rebecca Skursky. Ashley Felicia. Sandy Christensen. Tracy Flathow. Medino Becker. Estella Alvarez. Brittany Steck. Associate in Applied Science, Engineering Technology. Alexander Lump. Associate in Applied Science, Construction Management. Andy Godinez. Associate in Applied Science, Criminal Justice. Shannon Sturrett. Andrew Polly. Let's hold up. Associate in Applied Science, Mobile Design and Development, Daniel Catlett. <laughs> Associate in Applied Science, Culinary Management, Samantha Neese. <laughs> Jessica Trisnuddle. Associate in Applied Science, Digital Media, Hope Stule. Eric Pilgard. Associate in Applied Science, Early Childhood Education, Ashley Wydra. Michelle Jerome. Samantha Adams. Ashley Katsiopoulos. Hold it. Associate in Applied Science, Fire Science, 
Patrick Lloyd. Matthew Thuma. Associate in Applied Science, Graphic Arts, Megan Gilhuli. Rachel Freend. Associate in Applied Science, Health and Fitness Education, David Thompson. Just hold up. Associate in Applied Science, Health Information Technology, Laura Smith. Stacy Bellomini. <laughs> Renee Anderson. <laughs> Associate in Applied Science, Manufacturing Management. Kurt Henningsen. Hold on. Associate in Applied Science, Network Security. Scott Dittmer. Hold on. Associate in Applied Science, Paralegal Studies. Jasmine Prongsgoop. <laughs> Deborah Martinez. So then. Associate in Applied Science, Registered Nursing. Christina Zypik. Spock. Spock. Thank you. <laughs> Aurelia Bikscheid. Amanda Gregory. Rosa Lydia Sanchez. Bless you. Jessica Flores. Kimberly Sklina. Amy Miller. Elizabeth Guerrero. Woo! Jessica Ronzio. Catherine Zabrowski. Saeed? Syed. Kedar? Kadir. Syed Kadir. <laughs> I got this one. Sarah Johnson. <laughs> Haley Kavidra. <laughs> Associate in Applied Science, Web Design and Development. McKenna Schaller. <laughs> <laughs> the following students have earned an Associate in Arts. Nikita Kiako. Keiko. <laughs> Megan Bednarowski. Amber Steiger. <laughs> Tiffany Tucker. <laughs> Sherry McHugh. Christina Lowell. Larissa Bell. Monica Hauschild. Kelsey Sakela. Dulce Lopez. Zuri Vasquez. Yesenia Carbajal. Alondra Flores. Kailana Crowley. Sebastian Morales. April.
April Enger. Rebecca Hall. Brittany McKennis. Trevor Bellis. Autumn Marvi Marvelia? Marvelia. <laughs> Tiffany Larson. Jacob Deek. <laughs> Ryan Saxon. Molly Schweiger. Derek Bulger. Nicole Farr. Joseph Wright. Justin Riendo. Tyler Sidlow. Michael Prate. Daniel Shook. Kaisha Moore. Cody Betlinski. Ivan Figueroa. Crystal Moore. Sierra Leone. Krissa Apostolopoulos. <laughs> Savannah Leon. Spencer Krozak. Christine Napik. Veronica Hurd. Matthew Darniel. John Williams. Jacqueline Mora. Tina Kwandi. Madison Schweitzer. Kimberly Campos. Jessica Swanson. Justin Cruz. Jeremy Gossage. Andrea Lesnar. Maggie Lavoie. Ty Vinson. Carol Garcia. Associate in Engineering Science, Stephen Putek. Yeah. 
Carla Godinez. Christina Van Ochten. Associate in Fine Arts Music, Matthew Carter. Associate in General Education, Joshua Tillman. Patrick Bussey. Mackenzie Helgeth. Maylene Martell. Tracy Berry. Patrice Jones. Leo Morales. Ann Smazel. <laughs> Tara Nielsen. <laughs> Kathleen Wood. <laughs> All right. Are we almost ready? We got to be happy. Go. <laughs> the following graduates have earned their associates in science. Beverly Truon. Anastasia Caker. Hunter Jones. Tyler Loading. Hannah Grace Palsgrove. Caitlin Michelle Teeters. Cody Burl Whiteman. Sierra Root. Caitlin Mary Columbia. Ava Olson. Alexandria Brenecki. Rhiannon Nicole Stoby. Diana Avina Jimenez. Jasmine Castaneda. Karen Castaneda. Brandon Acuna. Matthew Steele. Whitney Morgan. Samantha Marie Kruzak. Matthew Wilson. Mark Rosenfeld. Jeremy Allen. Ryan Dawson Lamas. Parker Ryan Cox. Cheyenne Autumn Smith. Kenneth Hans Damon III. Melody Stephanie Tapia. Elizabeth Durantes. Annalise Kalamatis.
Brooke Witkins. Cassandra Peters. Paige Angelica Meyer. Julia Marie Janesco. I forgot my card is Archer Krishuk. Archer Krishuk. Joseph Castronovo. Christina Knowles. The following graduates have earned their certificate in administrative office skills. Maria Guadalupe Ortega. The following graduates have earned a certificate in basic nursing assistant. Christina Rasmussen. Noelia Salazar Contreras. Angelica Gonzalez. The following graduates have earned a certificate in entrepreneurship. Grant Holm. The following graduates have earned a cer certificate in industrial maintenance technician. Christopher Gatwoso. Adrian Deshari. Jose Roberto Loesa Hernandez. Roberto Brito. The following graduates have earned a certificate in medical billing and coding. Autumn Haseman. The following graduates have earned high school equivalent, equivalency certificate. Amelia Sobchak. Savannah Eschek. Soila Reyes. Vanessa Salas. Dierica Thomas. Julian Alansari. Israel Casares. Please join me in congratulating all of these absolutely beautiful graduates. Class of 2018, I thank you on behalf of all the faculty for your contributions to the college. You have inspired us, challenged us, and energized us. You have been our students, our colleagues in training, and even our mentors and friends. We congratulate you on your achievements. As you graduate, I encourage you to reflect on your academic journey here at MCC. You may have had moments when this day seemed far away or even impossible to reach. Maybe even in my statistics class. Sorry. <laughs> Stats is hard, I know. Um, but you persisted. <laughs> you succeeded. You took one more step toward becoming your best authentic self. You should be proud of your achievements today. We are hopeful that we have inspired in you an appreciation for lifelong learning, because learning does not end when your degrees are complete. 
We are confident that you are prepared to seize learning opportunities and rise to the challenges that life will offer you. We are certain there will be many. At this time, I invite the graduates and faculty to stand. Faculty, please join me in expressing our congratulations, our gratitude, and our commendations to our newest graduates. McHenry County College graduates, you may now switch your tassels. seated. Thanks to everyone today for participating in what is Harvest Day for here, us here at the college, celebrating our 2018 spring graduates and their accomplishments. Now we've saved, even though there's been a lot of applause, our deepest gratitude, our most rambunctious applause for the people who stood beside each of you during this educational journey with their support and their encouragement and their money, <laughs> and their love, and their money, and their support. Please join with me in showing our appreciation to all of your family and loved ones. Thank you. Thank you. To all of our guests, please remain seated until all the faculty, staff, and graduates have exited. MCC graduates, take a little time today. Remind yourself you've done some good stuff here, and the best really is coming ahead. Thanks for being a valuable part of our college, and don't be strangers. Will the graduates please rise?